This UCSD TV program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest programs. All right, so before we break for lunch, we have a very special speaker uh, joining us to say a few words. Navrina Singh is Director of Product Management at Qualcomm and Head of Qualcomm Impact, the company's global innovation program. So please help me welcome Navrina Singh. Good afternoon. I know I'm the person between you and lunch. <laughs> so I'll try and make sure I stick to my script. And generally, I'm not a scripted person. So, But just to make sure you get to lunch very quickly, um, I wanted to share a few thoughts with you. I'm Navrina Singh. I'm an engineer, a tinkerer, a maker, an artist. I'm going to be a mom soon and much more. I'm all this because of the experiences and opportunities that really sparked interplay between my right and the left brain. In this very ever-changing, very dynamic world, it's, which is very highly competitive, it becomes really crucial to be well-rounded individuals who have the skills, talent, imagination, to not only adapt to, but conquer all the changes. Most recently, as all of you have heard since morning, we've been hearing a lot to invest in STEM education so that we can be the next set of innovators and we can grow our economy. So I think that's a really cool and exciting endeavor. Unfortunately, I feel that there's something really missing in that formula. And for me, that key thing that's missing is creativity and arts. And all of you are here today to really take STEM to the next level, which is STEAM. And you are going to be the change agents that are going to make this happen. So Kim Richards, um, you know, who's here, she's phenomenal. And she approached me a few months back to come and speak today. And this is a topic that is something I've been very passionately committed to and I've been thinking about for 15 years. And she gave me five minutes. <laughs> so. I'll make sure I keep it very, very precise, and I want to leave all of you with two key takeaways. One, STEAM starts at home. Second, make it real. So I grew up in India where there was a very heavy focus on science and math. Professions like engineering, medicine were really coveted. Professions like architect, music, uh, fashion design, they were considered a not a good investment of your time and energy. I was really fortunate to be raised in a household where the daily mantra was, follow your passion, and I did. Unfortunately, most of the times, that passion was going to STEM education. And my father was in the Indian Army uh, for about 40 years. He spent most of the time away from us. So my key influence in my life was my, my fashion designer mom. And that really formed the basis for creativity and arts education at home for me. Unfortunately, schools in India at that time were so focused on STEM education, which weren't even real world examples. It was all rote learning. And there existed no creative outlet for art, art people. I quickly turned my home into a makerspace and that tinkering at home really helped me prepare for the engineering world. It did help that I really loved math and physics. So I'm sure all of you are wondering that physicists and artists are very different people. There is nothing in common. Artists often deal in imagery, metaphors, illusions, emotions. And scientists, we love data. We love equations. And our approaches might seem very, very divergent. However, I believe that they are manifestations of the same thing. And more importantly, I've heard this over and over again, that science is always looking for answers 
and art is always looking for questions. So unfortunately, the connection between STEM and art uh, is not only missing in India, but it's missing in a lot of places all over the world. The critical connection needs to appear in education, and I believe that first step starts at home. And this is a commitment that I've made to my kid, that she's going to get experience in all the fields that she's excited about. I would not be here today if my mom didn't let me destroy perfectly new things at home so that I could create new things out of my imagination. And what that did was give me the courage and problem-solving skills to dive into the unknown. To prepare our future generations, I think it's going to be important to integrate diverse skills through STEAM, and you are going to be the trailblazers that are going to make that happen. And this brings me to my second key takeaway, making it real. At Qualcomm, I have an extremely fun job, and I get to head what's called Qualcomm Impact. It's our employee innovation program, which is really focused on inspiring innovation so that we can create new ideas for Qualcomm. And one of the key things that we do in that program is really bring together people from diverse backgrounds, diverse cultures, diverse functional areas, all of them together to really share ideas that could not just be big ideas for Qualcomm, but those ideas should be world changing ideas that could really change our entire world and our humankind. I'm sure all of you are wondering how does this relate to STEAM Connect. It does. Because I totally believe that an idea is worth nothing without good execution. So today, all of you have come together to share your goals, passions, your ideas around STEAM. But I think action is going to be the key step to spring both this concept of STEAM Connect into reality. Today, you have access to very, very talented thought leaders with diverse experiences and ideas. And today, I think you should really leverage that to ensure you can transform these concepts into actions that would change the way we think about education. Also, I believe that this is a very important opportunity for business community to take an active role working with all of you, educators, parents, policymakers, nonprofits, to bring about change. And one of my personal favorite quotes is, be the change that you want to see in the world. Today, you really have a platform to take this to the next step, to collaborate, partner, work with all the stakeholders to amplify your actions and efforts. My company has taken these steps over and over again. Some of the efforts that you're going to hear about today are things like Think a Bit Lab, QWOW, which is Qualcomm World of Work, QWISE, which is Qualcomm Women and Science and Engineering. Think a Bit Lab, which is a new initiative that was kickstarted by Ed Hidalgo, he's going to be on a panel today, I think is an amazing program which is really exposing young kids to things that we do here at Qualcomm, exposing them to really great engineering talent, uh, talent as well as making sure that they're all bringing their creative energy to problem solving. QWOW, which is Qualcomm World of Work, is again an excellent platform for employees to bring their kids to work and to get them excited about the things that the parents are doing on a day-to-day basis. QWISE, which is an organization that I started seven years back, is really focused on ensuring that we are developing a very strong pipeline of women leaders, not only in Qualcomm, but also in the community. So it's really interesting that growing up, I saw this a lot, um, not so much in India, but in the United States, that girls always take a step back from science and engineering fields. It was because they could not see the connection between creativity and technology. And many a times we see that girls give up on some exciting careers because they feel like engineering and technology is nerdy, it's not impactful. And that's something that we've been dreaming up pretty much every day here at Qualcomm through our QIs organization. And we are trying to change that by approaching girls at a very young age and inspiring them about new ways that they can integrate their creative talent into something that could be meaningful for this world. In the end, I just wanted to reiterate that STEAM starts at home and making it real by create, bringing creative people to form productive collaborations 
with scientists, educators, technologists, parents, to make a positive impact on this world is absolutely critical. And you are going to be the catalyst for that change. Thank you so much.